beloved precious students of life. It is I, El Moya, who greet you this day, and I am grateful for this time that I have with each of you. Today, I would draw your attention to the fundamental work of Lord Kutumi and myself, both of us having gained our freedom in the Ascension in the 1800s. And at that time, being the most recent initiates to have gained our freedom, did we immediately turn our attention back to the earth realm that we had ascended from, knowing that there were those upon the earth, especially in India, who knew of our lives, who knew of our presence, and who knew of our ascension. And those blessed initiates became pillars and instruments as they turned their attention to Katumi and myself, El Moya, as we had taught them. And in doing so, in turning their attention to us, they would call upon us to use them they would call upon us to see them as instruments in which the greater light of God that we could pour into their lives and through their lives to this world. My own personal etheric Ascended Master Retreat has been for a few centuries now, in the foothills of the Himalayas, above the city of Darjeeling, India, no precious hearts upon the ascension of Lord Kutumi and myself, did we dedicate ourselves to the initiates, the students of life at that time? Did we dedicate ourselves to teaching them of them, of the great God presence that abides in each person? A presence that is too long upon your earth realm, being a sleeping splendor, waiting for that moment in which each person would discover their own spiritual nature. We taught at that time that this mighty God presence abides in their lives in a great threefold activity. that the spiritual nature of each person abides in their hearts, known as the magic presence. This spiritual nature abides in the inner chambers of one's own consciousness, known as the individualized presence of God, your own true spiritual self, and thirdly, that great spiritual presence of each one abides above in the higher realms of light, known as the higher self, or most formally, the mighty I am presence. Thus it is, as it was, 
with the early students of life who knew of Kutumi and myself that we taught of this threefold activity of the divine nature that has for too long been hidden and suppressed in this world, a threefold activity of God that has always been intended, once discovered, to come under your loving command through the power of your attention, acceptance, and invocation or invitation. As it was in previous centuries, when truth seekers, initiates, would be led to the ancient Himalayan mystery school, where we taught of these truths, so it was that we would teach the early initiates, students of life, just as yourselves, the importance of practicing the presence. Today, under the great authority of Jesus Christ and the great Master Saint Germain, the Himalayan Mystery School is closed and the great school of life seeks to be found within the lives of all that you are living. Yet even though the Himalayan Mystery School is closed, there are ascended beings, angelic beings, and the great masters from the Cave of Light of India who continue to stoke the great fiery furnace of the sacred fire of God, ensuring a mighty God radiance of light, of love, would be continuously projected from the Himalayas as a source of light to the people of the world. As many upon your earth today are awakening, just as yourselves have and continue to, there too are those who are experiencing a spiritual urge to know and understand themselves and ultimately to discover that they are much more than what world educations and religions present to them. Eventually discovering that each one on earth is in truth a spiritual being and as one discovers and searches and begins to study are coming to understand that the ascended masters those living in the next higher dimension of your beloved planet earth were always destined to be your next teachers whenever the people of earth would be ready. Today, there are several spiritual organizations in your realm that have become open doors where more of us and the Ascended Host can communicate and teach those of humankind who are ready to listen 
those who truly desire to spiritually understand and develop and grow. And the truth is that this desire is a natural activity that does occur sometime in the life of every individual. However, it is not every individual that senses or intuits this inborn natural activity of divine evolution. For in too many of the people of earth, fear in their emotional bodies often clouds that innate desire, urge to become something more in life. As many today are turning their attention towards various sources of light due to a lot of what is going on in your dimension. And therefore we see there are many who are turning their attention towards various sources of light. And that is a good thing. Yet the truth remains that humankind even though they turn their attention towards the light, humankind cannot be anchored firmly to and in the power of light and truth without knowing the great presence of God, of I Am, that remains a sleeping splendor until one awakens, studies, discovers their own true divine self and begins a path that offers an understanding and a deeper comprehension of those mighty words, I am. In your earth octave, there is no power to hold you anchored in the light when you stand and face the light until humankind come to know and understand their own individualized I am God nature and presence. Neither you or anyone on earth, beloved hearts, can expand your light to any large degree until you give your own attention to your own mighty God self For once, one awakens and discovers their God nature, the mighty I Am. Their power of their attention becomes the great fuel that allows them to become all that they are studying and learning of life. The great cosmic light that the world requires, especially at this time, cannot come forth in its fullness until more of humankind come to understand and accept the individualized presence 
of the mighty I am, their own God and nature, and plus the absolute imperative need of peace and harmony in their feeling side of life, so that once you have discovered your own divinity, that your life on earth allows the uninterrupted flow of the divine presence and power, light and love of one's own divine nature to flow in to the life they have been given and from out of that life into the world where it is greatly needed. Today, the spiritual hierarchy of your planet Earth all stand ready to release the greater cosmic light that your world now requires light that will reveal the source of discord and deceit and therefore the cosmic light that each of us in the ascended realms are readying to pour to the earth and to and through each of you who accept us. This cosmic light that seeks to increase now in your worlds, the intelligence that is within that cosmic light, shall be an impelling and compelling activity in the feeling world of humankind to accept, to take hold of, and to utilize the great power of their own divinity. A threefold activity of life, as I have explained, that abides within your physical hearts, within the inner chambers of your consciousness, and above you as your higher self or I am presence. The cosmic light now compels each of you to know and allow your own greater spiritual life to come forth into greater action now and release the great God powers, the greater love, the greater light, and the greater perfection of your own divinity into your world. You cannot do a thing in this world unless it is your own life acting. And today, through your acceptance of your own divinity, through the power of your attention, your own spiritual presence within and above you that gives you its life and infinite power stands ever more ready as each of you make greater, greater effort to keep yourselves in as much peace and harmony as you can 
and to take all steps to free yourself of any kind of fear that would naturally constrict your own greater life. Therefore, I, El Moya, I say to you, in ways that we had our own students and initiates of life in India, especially after our own ascension, we say to each of you, you are all the present initiates of life, students of life, and each of you have the great opportunity to be those instruments, those channels in which in the loving attention that you give to your own spiritual presence of life, each of you, if you so choose, can draw forth an intense and ever-increasing fullness of life in all its perfection into action, into your body, into your lives and your octave of activity. Therefore, in my few precious moments with you, as I and Kutumi taught in earlier centuries, I invite you to take moments during your day and try to practice the presence, to make active the presence that is within your hearts, within your inner consciousness, and above you as your higher self, the I Am Presence. And if you were to ask me, well, El Moya, what steps can I take to practice this mighty presence of God, to make active this mighty presence of God. Well, I would say to you, first, avail yourself of the truth that neither God the Father and God the Mother, the angelic host, or the ascended host, we do not see you as sinners. Rather, we understand that in your octave, since you are not taught the truth, the tree of life from the moment that you are born into your dimension, we understand that the easiest thing to do in your world is to make mistakes. Everyone makes mistakes. Your spiritual hierarchy and Mother, Father, God do not and will not hold those mistakes against you. In our universe, there are mighty laws, such as the laws of redemption and the laws of forgiveness. These are not laws that are compelled upon you, forced upon you. Rather, 
They are laws, universal laws available to you. If you shall so choose to take them up. Recognizing you are not sinners. Your race of people have fallen from a state of grace. Yet, in this experience, and whatever purpose that you chose to learn from a consciousness of good and evil, that you realize you cannot not make mistakes in that consciousness. It is only as you seek and strive, once you come to understand the evolution of consciousness itself, that you can reach inwards and upwards in the honoring and practicing of your own divinity, that you, just like us, who gained our freedom, you will find your freedom in accepting that in the higher consciousness of life, of light, of love, there is no duality. There is only one presence acting, and that is God. And to understand that God is infinite. As you understand a heavenly father and a heavenly mother. And that God is individualized. As you come to understand the individualized nature of each of you. And thirdly, that you come to understand that God is impersonal. That which is the impersonal fabric of life. The responding activity of life. That is found in the many kingdoms. That you all share life with upon your planet. Therefore. If you are, as you face the light, realize that if the great cosmic light is to so anchor within each of you, making you an untouchable presence of God, where one presence and power is acting in your lives, And what is out in the world can no longer touch you. Then it is that you may concede that taking a few precious moments of time several times a day to practice your own divine presence and to make active your presence in your world is your great pathway to freedom and that which will eventually be such a mighty light in your worlds that will chase out all the darkness that has ever been. And so, as I encourage you to practice and make active your own spiritual nature. I would remind you in Mother Akasha's Tree of Life class the ways that she has taught you the three great 
ascension attitudes, which are the pouring of your love, your praise, and your gratitude to life itself. I would remind you of the powerful activity, the spiritual activity, as taught by the great Saint Germain, who introduced the I Am Presence and the knowledge of the sacred fire that each of you continue to take time to enter into decrees and mantras to your own God presence, for it is this way that your God presence becomes active in your life. It may be wisdom to ask yourself, how active is my own God divinity in my life, my mind, my heart, my feelings, and my life? How active is my presence? For the question held within can release a greater desire within each of you to do all that you can throughout your days to make active the light, the love, the joy, the power, and the perfection of your own God divinity felt in yourselves as your life your health that then becomes a divine energy that radiates out from each of you and affects others and your worlds and other kingdoms who require that light if they too are going to be free of the darkness that is in your world. I would encourage you to meditate upon your presence, upon your divinity. Mother Akasha has certainly offered you many unique forms of meditation to accomplish this. I would encourage each of you to declare inwardly and outwardly that you see yourself, your body, your life as an open door where you are inviting the presence and power, the love, light, joy, and perfection of your own divinity to radiate out from you and out into the world. I would encourage each of you to remember the power of visualization, to do what you can to visualize immense golden light around yourself and around others. I would remind you of the power of faith and prayer. And regarding being an open door, that you see yourselves as an open door where you welcome the light, the radiation, the love, and the power of God from angels and ascended masters to enter your life daily. I would encourage you to inwardly command the growth 
of your own inner golden sun's presence that can fill the chest activity, that can be a wonderful source of light to the world. I encourage each of you to continue to study and learn of the powers of the sacred fire and their qualities and how to use them. I would encourage you to fill your homes with the many beautiful images of ascended masters and angels, remembering that when you are in touch, when you are in contact with the image of a thing, you are in contact with the essence of that. I would encourage you to turn your attention away from the many things that are occurring in your world and each time you do this to remind yourselves that you are in the beginning years of a new permanent golden age the light will prevail the darkness will be revealed and be consumed. Remind yourselves that there are today three mighty dispensations coming from the Ascended Master realms that are current in your world. The dispensation of the mighty Saint Germain and his activity the dispensation of beloved Jesus Christ and the path of resurrection that is shared with the dispensation of Mother Akasha, the return of the Mother's presence to this world. And as you would offer yourselves in acknowledgement of these three mighty dispensations that you would offer yourselves as living instruments of this incoming seventh golden age. I would remind you of the goddess of liberty's message a few days ago where she and all of us encourage each of you to pour your love to the world at 12 noon. Whenever 12 noon arrives, wherever you live, that you would pour your love. Reminding you that mighty rays of love upon your command can come from your highest self, the I Am Presence, reminding you that the eternal flame of life, the unfed flame that abides within your physical heart, that that mighty flame inside your heart can release thousands of rays of light and love wherever you direct those rays of light and love into your bodies, your consciousness, and out into your world. Pour your love. For when that moment that there are enough of the people of earth who will pour their love to the powers of nature, the forces of the elements. When there are enough of you who take time to pour your love 
into the minds and feelings of the people of earth to pour your love to the animal kingdom and other kingdoms that have suffered in your world then I say to you I Master Kutumi Saint Germain the goddess of liberty and others we have spoken to a number of ascended beings who are part of the gods of the earth the gods of the mountains and we have asked them to work with you that each of you if you will take this 10 minutes at 12 noon whenever that is wherever you live that the gods of the mountains will project into the base of your spine the great strength of the power of light within the mountains the power of light that is used to stabilize your planet and while you are pouring your love out into the world they will turn and pour their great strength of the mountains the great power of light into the base of your spines and to assist each of you I am El Moya and I thank you may the mighty presence of God that abides within each of you may its mighty splendor now find an open door to release its greater light and love to release the untouchable presence of God through the life that you have been given that life can count on each of you in pushing back in pushing back in pushing back the darkness the discord and all that is being tried to thrust upon the people of earth may your own untouchable presence of God be such an anchoring of light into your world and that light radiates out from each of you and pushes back against all that is not the light of God until those things are removed and freedom's flag reigns eternal within the hearts of the people I thank you Namaste Namaste Namaste, our dear friends of the light.